All right, what is going on, everyone? It is Jack, and today I am very late with this, and I understand, but I'm going to be checking out the Ones Who Live final trailer. This premieres February 25th. If you want to make sure you see those reactions here first, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and always... Don't forget that you can get the full and cut and early reactions for everything I watch, I've watched, and will watch on Patreon down below. Now, I'm very excited for this show. I think, given the budget, it has a potential to rock the fandom and the media and absolutely blow people away and bring a lot of people back that had checked out. So, I say without further ado, let's check this trailer out. We're going no edit on this one, so we're just going to jump into it. I'm getting home. I have to find Oh. All right. Rick Grimes. Oh, wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold up. Was he... Hold up. I know. I know that I'm already jumping back. But... Was he missing a hand there? Hold the phone. I, I'm not seeing a hand. I've been saying. All right, Michonne. Years ago. Now I'm looking for him. Okay. I have to keep trying. He's definitely missing a hand. Oh, Rick. Goddamn right you are. Oh, she's got her uh, walker pets again. Your phone, you know what it says? The Japanese? Believe a little bit longer. That's all you gotta do. The most powerful military on the planet. I I love along with all of this. Their outfits. Everything will change. Oh my god, this looks so good. Oh, the shit. That looks like the gas from World Beyond. Oh, Jadis. Was that Atlanta? Damn, Rick. That sounds French. There has to be a sacrifice. Okay. Okay. Oh my god. We couldn't do anything. I'm so hype. I'm so hype. You know, you know we about to go dig through this again. And we are gonna slow it down. And we are going to watch it again, because that was awesome. Now, I may mute the extra audio for, well, I know, I, to me, it's already going to get claimed. I know that, so I'll just, I'll let it rock. Um, okay. I gotta say, I love the shot and the scenery with those fire ones in the woods. Oh, looks so good. Now, this does have some black bar going on, so I might try to fix that once it comes out, but it is interesting that you don't see a hand there. I was pretty sure that he lost it, but we'll see. Okay. Michonne, you know, we know who you lost, baby. It's okay. It's okay. You're going to get him back. You're going to get him back. The scale for this, too, by the way, it looks so good. So large. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's, that's a whole ass hook. Hold the phone. Yeah. Yeah, that's a hook. I had a feeling 
I've been calling it for a minute now, and I was like, no, no, bullshit, it's not gonna happen. I told you. I told you it was gonna happen, didn't I? Yes, I did. That's unfortunate. I wonder if they're going to do a similar thing to what they did with the governor, where Rick wasn't taking him serious, and the gov- and basically it's the governor slash Jamie Lannister, that I, the governor did it first, but where it's like, okay, whoosh, just chop it up. Now do you take me to like that kind of shit? Oh, that'd be fucking nuts. Oh, man. Or he could just get bit and just lose it. I don't know. Oh, Rick crying. I've, okay, crazy theory here. I have a feeling that they got to do or say something to him to make him not think it's possible to come back. So if they were to show, you know, if somehow they were able to get aerial footage or like, like semi bad quality photography of Hilltop after it's been burned down or Alexandria after it's been overrun, like with the whispers and like the what and show him like, He's talking about, like, I have to get back to my family. And they're like, everyone's gone. What do you mean? And they, like, bring back pictures of the different communities at their worst possible moment. And be like, it's nothing for you to go back to. This is your life now. That could be a very powerful thing. Though I don't know if they'd do that because we, it would be hard-pressed for us to believe that our group didn't see that happen. Like, people come and take photography and shit, but we'll see. What else? We hope that you can get home too, Rick. Trust me, we really do. I do appreciate that Michonne is using her walker pets again. Very cool. Especially to carry her stuff. Awesome. And that looks similar to one of the boats that... Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. No shot a f- a massive fuel tanker thing is just still up here balanced. That would have rolled into the water, surely. I don't know, maybe not, but interesting. That definitely, that water definitely was not moving, though, which hopefully they added that a little bit more. But leave a little bit longer. It's not, it won't be too long, Michonne. And oh, this shot right here. Oh, my God. If that doesn't show you the scale of things and you can see the areas that. I mean, the CG. Doesn't look the most convincing. But they're doing their best and I appreciate it. (laughs) Because Walking Dead is never had massive, massive amounts of CG, so. But I do appreciate the fact that you can kind of see in the distance that it is very decrepit and broken down. But what's interesting is there's a bridge in the distance over here. that doesn't seem to be taken out. But this area seems to be well maintained, so that's that's something to keep in mind. And I got to say the the versions of the different CRM outfits so far, I think I like these the most. The ones with the red trim. Oh, so clean. I love it so much. And Terry Quinn looks Terry. He just looks so perfect for this role. And the fact that in in Lost, this is what he was doing. Like, this is what he said he was doing. It's kind of funny. Oh, my God. Wait a minute. It's a casket. I wonder who it is. I wonder if we're going to see his son in this show. That would be interesting. Okay, some Michonne's on the road. And those are her traveling companions that we saw on the main show. King Batch and another lady. And then they gas them all. 
Interesting. And Jadis is back. I do think it's interesting that we see we see the footage of Atlanta being bombed from that season two flashback. Are they going to insinuate that CRM was behind bombing Atlanta? That would be a crazy callback. Holy shit. Okay, I got to say that the way that that's framed, this looks like a behind the scenes interview. So I don't know. Maybe it's like maybe they do like a film thing. I don't know. We'll see. But we got some some odd looking walkers. Rick is losing his mind. Love to hear it. You don't get to choose for the world. You don't get to choose for me. I have a feeling that's either very early on and when he got there or very much later on. The oh, this is a beautiful shot, too. Oh, my goodness. But yeah, this so this scene with them in the woods with the walkers on fire is so nice. That's an interesting outfit from a show. And her in this green car. CRM guy's getting blown up. Hmm. That appears to be a little car chase with Jadis. That's funny. Yeah. Oh my God. That, this whole thing is striking me as like a no way out type dealio. Or like when Aaron was having his nightmare. Oh, I have a feeling. Oh my gosh, those walkers flew so high. Oh yeah, and if you look at Rick here, I think, yeah, you can see he has the hook and he has a rope or chain on the hook. But those walkers, what? I don't know what that thing is that she's using. It clearly is some sort of rocket launcher, but it's meant to draw the noise. So like make a big explosion and draw them together. Okay. Oh, geez, that's loud. Okay. Blowing the building up. I'm I'm going to venture to say that this scene here, that's when the reunion happened or the. So he's going to be kitted out or whatever doing this and he's going to take it, you know, take a mat or whatever. And he's going to like look up. It's going to be Michonne and his it's going to be it's going to be like the end of an episode, I'd say, because what are there six episodes? I'm going to say it's going to be like end of episode four that they're going to reunite either end of three or end of I think end of four, probably either end of either beginning or end of four. I think that's going to happen. Oh, this looks phenomenal. I'm a whole I'm very interested to see how they're going to do it, though, because it's it's going to be tough without it seeming rushed. But I'm here for it. And the fact that the first three episodes are titled Years Gone By. It's so good. I'm so happy. OK. Now, it is time for me to wrap this up, start the upload, and then probably start working on my Percy Jackson finale video as well. Let me know what you're most excited about for this reunion. I'm almost certain that we are not going to get a reunion with any other characters in this other than Rick and Michonne and Michonne and Jadis, basically. So, while it sucks, I have a feeling they're building these three spinoff shows four if you count fear technically into everyone leaning into one final big fuck yeah show and then we'll see where things go from there but i believe none of the spinoffs are going to properly reunite anybody and there's going to be one show that brings everyone together to fight the crm i think that'd be a good way to conclude the universe and if they want to reboot it in 10 15 years fucking go for it but if you do Fucking do it comic accurate, you bastards. 
or do it animated. Oh, if they did it animated and got some of the original voices to come. Oh, that'd be so nice. Besides the point. I am very excited about this. The budget is massive. I believe like 13 mil an episode, which is insane. That was like the budget for the entire first season. I think most episodes other than finales and premieres were like two to three million. Maybe. So. Wow. I'm I'm very, very happy and very excited about this. So I hope that you are all as well. Thank you for watching. I know I didn't do some like a massive breakdown of it, but. I'm pretty tired and I don't want to just ramble on nonsensically about stuff, so. Yeah, thank you for watching. As I said, I hope you all enjoyed. And remember, make sure if you want to see these reactions when I drop them, which is going to be as soon as I possibly can when it's coming out, make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell. And if you want to get the full and cut in early reactions for everything I watch, I've watched and will watch, feel free to check out Patreon down below. If not, support is always appreciated regardless. I love you all. Thank you for all the support. We'll see you in 25 days. This has been Jack, and I'm out. Peace. Bye.